Good morning, Oregsburg Library patrons. Today we're going to be reading The Pirate of Kindergarten by George Ella Lyon, illustrated by Lynn Avril. It's a Richard Jackson book. Ginny loved reading circle. Getting there was hard though, with all those chairs. She knew only half of them were real, but which ones? She always ran into some. Someone always laughed. Ginny loved reading anyway. From the big book, Miss Cleo held in her lap. Or the flip chart, she pointed to with a stick. Or best of all, from the book Ginny held in her hands. Ginny stuck her nose in the fold of the book. Ginny, Miss Cleo said, we read with our eyes, not with our noses. But Ginny's eyes played tricks. She read. She thought everyone saw this way. She didn't know they were tricks. When other kids laughed, Ginny really tightened her mind the way you tie a knot in a rope. Then she could remember to read only cat ran fast. But after that, she'd get afraid and read it again, only softer. And then Miss Cleo's hand was resting on Ginny's head as she said, just once Ginny, we read it just once. If Ginny closed one eye, she only saw one word. But Miss Cleo said, don't squint. Numbers hopped around like popcorn. When she looked at the chart or the board or the book, she saw twice as many twos like swans and threes like bees and big bellied sixes as the other kids saw. Ginny liked their shapes. She liked to draw them and she liked to color. Scissors, mm, scissors were tricky. If she didn't keep her mind tight tight when Miss Cleo gave them rabbit pictures, she might cut out one ear and another and another. Once she got so mad, she stuck the scissors in the paste. Carl told. Miss Cleo said, a three-eared bunny or original and just wash the scissors, Ginny. This time the teacher patted Carl's hand. Mind your own bunnies, she said. Then came vision screening day. Ginny was a little scared when they lined up to go into the gym. She did find it first reading the letters on the white chart. The nurse put a black spoon over one eye and asked her to name the letters. She could do that with one eye. She saw only one. It was the same when he covered the other eye. But when the nurse said, now use both, Ginny froze. He pointed to the row of letters. If they had been words, she would have read just once. E, E, F, F, Z, Z, P, P. But the letters themselves were jumble. The nurse tapped the chart again. This line, please. Ginny said all she could say. Ginny said what she saw. He pointed to the next line. Ginny read the same way. The nurse's voice was gentle. Do you see two? Ginny nodded. Do you see two of me, he asked. She nodded again. Do you know, the nurse asked, that most people see only one? Ginny started to cry. Miss Cleo appeared and put a hand on Ginny's shoulder. What's wrong, she asked. This child has double vision, the nurse explained. She needs to go to the doctor for her eyes. He looked at Ginny. This can be fixed so you'll see only one. The next week, Ginny's mother took her to Dr. Claire. He had Ginny look through special lenses in a dark room. It didn't hurt, but it made her a little dizzy. When they were finished, Dr. Claire said, good news, I don't think you'll need an operation, just exercises, glasses, and for a while, a patch. He reached in a drawer and handed Ginny two patches one on a band that went around her head and one that would snap onto glasses. You pick out some frames, Dr. Claire said, and wear the patch till you come back next week. Ginny's mother helped her put it on. Now there was just one of everything and she didn't have to squint. So Ginny became a kindergarten pirate who could do numbers and scissors, who could climb the rigging of the playgrounds fast and read and read and read. 
and take her place in the circle without knocking over a single chair because she was the pirate of kindergarten. I hope you enjoyed our story today. It was a lot of fun and we learned that going to the eye doctor is not a scary experience and some people need to wear glasses and other people use contacts that go into their eyes. So if you like this book, remember we have so many more stories at the Orgsburg Library that you can read. Bring in your favorite adult with their library card and you can come and check some out. Thank you.